remote sensors. Surface and atmospheric temperature, rainfall intensity, wind and cloud coverage maps, moisture and salinity maps. Passive remote sensors measure these types of information, helping us to better study our planet and to foresee and prevent natural disasters. Passive remote sensors detect the electromagnetic energy emitted by all bodies, such as the thermal infrared energy, the heat of the Earth, and the sunlight reflected from the ground and the oceans, energy that cannot be measured at night. All bodies whose temperature is higher than zero Kelvin, the absolute coldest temperature possible, emit electromagnetic energy. Passive remote sensors, or radiometers, measure this energy. Whether it is at microwave frequencies or infrared or optical wavelengths. Passive remote sensors detect naturally emitted electromagnetic energy, such as infrared or sunlight, but also can measure signals originally created for other purposes. These are called signals of opportunity. Examples are global navigation satellite systems, such as the American GPS, the Russian GLONASS or the upcoming European Galileo and the Chinese Beidou systems. These signals are reflected from the Earth as sunlight is and is measured by passive remote sensors. This is called GNSS reflectometry. We can also measure the bending of these signals by the atmosphere, similar to the light from a prism. As sun rays reflect during the sunset, this is called GNSS radio occultations. The difference between these signals and their reflections that we receive gives us important information about different objects on or around our planet. Let's make an experiment to understand better how a passive sensor works. Tune a radio to a frequency setting without a radio station and you will hear noise. However, this noise has two types. The noise that is received by the antenna and the noise created by the radio itself. Now, unplug the antenna from the radio and you will hear only the second type of noise by itself. Therefore, a passive microwave radiometer needs to separate these two types of noise and measure only the one that is received by the antenna.